Happy winter solstice, everybody. Man, it's been a great year, hasn't it? So, <laughs> I have a lot of projects that I've been doing this year, and I have a lot more to come. And I kind of wanted to run down a few things that I've been working at. Uh, yeah, so over here on the left is a Harbor Freight 100 watt solar panel kit. I wanted to test it out, uh, see how well it works, and I'm a little bit disappointed. Its production is far less compared to what I get out of uh, the polycrystalline panels that I have up on my roof. Hey, let me run down in the crawl space and we'll take some more detailed look at how much this is producing. And this is the Harbor Freight 100 watt kit with the panels outside and their Harbor Freight battery. And I hooked it up uh, using this inverter uh, to the control unit and the pump. And it's currently on. You can probably hear the water splashing in the background. It's heating up the tank. So over here we can see that we're using 67, 66 watts. Uh, and then we're using 5.4 amps. But the solar system is not putting that out. Now I thought it would because it was labeled as 100 watts and I knew it would only do that during bright sunny weather, but that's what we got right now. But I just picked up this new multimeter uh, because it can actually clamp on and measure DC amperage. So this is the Unity UT210E. I'll put a link to this uh, in the description below. Uh, but I picked it up specifically for my solar projects that I'm doing. And if I just put this on 20 amps, it starts off as AC. So you hit the select button, go to DC, and then zero that out. And then if I clamp it on here, you can see we're at 5.23 amps. That says 5.4. I'm not sure which one is more accurate, probably this guy, but it's close enough for my work. And then we can compare it to what's coming in, only 2.5 amps. So we're using twice as many amps as what's being supplied. And that's disappointing because it's a 100 watt panel, but uh, it's just not putting that out anywhere close to it. So I'm not a big fan of the Harbor Freight uh, panels, but I really like this multimeter. Uh, I'm glad I picked it up because I'm going to be doing a lot more uh, solar projects just for fun. So again, if you want one of these, uh, I recommend them and check them out in the link below. The big three thermal collectors behind me and these guys have been doing an excellent job at heating the water. I think the tank right now uh, just hit 120 degrees. The coldest that big 250 gallon tank has reached is 107 degrees, uh, which is just great. Now I did add that little 20 gallon tank that I mentioned in one of my previous videos, uh, but that only now has to raise it, uh, you know, 20, 30 degrees in temperature instead of having to raise it up, you know, uh, quite a bit more than that. So these guys have been working excellent. Uh, the garage just finished uh, heating, uh, setting up the heat exchanges. I'm going to move the camera and we'll take a look. So you can see the panels on the wall. They're only shaded right at the very top there, maybe uh, 8 to 10 inches. So not much shading uh, right at the top. But as you notice, they're shading on the walls. And that's from the neighbor's trees. Can't really do anything about that. And then the panels up on the roof are fully exposed. And we're gathering uh, heat, sending it into the garage. The pump's running right now. Yeah. Hey, thanks everybody who has subscribed. I think we we passed 1,700 subscribers, which is just wow. You know, and I'm having a lot of fun making the videos and doing these solar projects and trying to take uh, the house and the garage uh, just you know to net zero. Uh, it's it's been a lot of fun. If you're curious about these projects, uh, like the one I got right next to me. Uh, that I just started working on or any of my other projects and you haven't subscribed please do so if you have any questions leave them in the comments below happy winter solstice <laughs>